Good afternoon, uh, here we are in uh, sunny Morley. It's above 23 degrees outside. We're going to demonstrate the dangers of going in a car on a hot day. Um, we're going to go down to the new site and uh, show how quickly a car temperature can increase. We're going to crank the windows open a little bit just to prove that that's not good enough to leave a dog in a car even with your windows slightly open. And we're going to be looking at how much it affects us. And we can sweat, we can lose our body temperature through uh, sweating. I have the, the knowledge that I can get out at any time. I've prepared by hydrating myself properly. Uh, and if there's any concerns, we're gonna stop the experiment, which is a luxury that dogs can't afford. So we'll head off now, and we'll show you how dangerous it can get. So we've arrived down at the new spot. Um, we're gonna try and stay in the car for a, a good half hour and see how quick the temperature rises up. We're gonna keep giving you five minute intervals. Um, I'll also keep checking my own body temperature, making sure that's not going too high. I started at 36.1 degrees. Uh, we've already been in here a minute and we can already feel the heat starting to, to cotton on and I can already feel me, me, me starting to sweat. This isn't gonna be an enjoyable half hour. Right, well that's just been in here five minutes. My body temperature's already gone up to 36.7, so it's uh, already increased significantly, and the temperature in the car is already hitting 37 to 38 degrees, so it's already above my temperature, body temperature, just after five minutes. I'm perspiring. Um, dogs, they have to lose their body heat through panting, and they've got big fur coats on, so their temperature's gonna be increasing significantly more than mine. Right, we're 10 minutes in, the window's cranked, there's a breeze outside but I'm not feeling any of it. My body temperature's up to set 37.3, I'm sweating, I'm feeling really, really uncomfortable. The car temperature's already gone up to 38 degrees, I'm really struggling at the moment. We've still got 20 minutes to go. We're now 15 minutes in, the car temperature's up to 44 degrees, my temperature's gone up to 37.5 degrees, I'm able to sweat and I'm sweating buckets, but that's not what dogs can do, they're big with thick furry coats, they can only pant to lose heat, so their body temperature's going to go up much quicker than mine is. See you in another 5 minutes. Right, we're 20 minutes in, car temperature's now 45 degrees. My temperature stayed at 37 and a half, so my sweating is regulating my body temperature. It's not let, letting it too high. In dog situation, they're breathing in air, trying to cool themselves down and breathe it out, and it's hotter than what they're breathing out. Their temperature's gonna escalate a lot quicker than mine. And you've got to think of these, these little dogs are gonna cook a lot quicker than 90 odd kilos worth of man. Right, that's us 25 minutes in. You can see I'm getting drenched in sweat now. My temperature's gone up to 37.8. The car temperature's now up to 46 degrees. It's getting pretty uncomfortable. So that's the 30 minutes up. As you can tell, we're absolutely knackered. We'll do the temperature checks. We're just doing those now. Oh, final check. 38.1 degrees and the car thermometer it's reading 50 degrees and that's as high as it goes it's actually reading more it's over 50 degrees in here dogs die in hot cars right so we're back in the air conditioning and change feeling a lot better just going to run through the figures we're in that car for half an hour and it's gone from 22 degrees up to over 50 degrees the thermometer only went up to 50 degrees, but you can see it gone up about another 4 degrees. My body temperature has gone up 2 degrees in half an hour and I could sweat. And did I sweat? I've lost 400 grams worth of sweat. Once a dog loses their ability to pant because they're getting dehydrated and using up their saliva, they can't lose that heat through their mouth anymore and their body heat escalates. Don't leave dogs in hot cars.